Well, of course, every pitcher, whether it's former or active, loves to see somebody succeed and pitch a no-hitter. Dave Johnson is no different. Let's get more on that. Amber is with Dave Johnson. Well, Dave, last night, some good things from the Orioles hitters, especially Adam Jones. He has three hits on the night. We've seen some good at-bats from him this week. Going forward, do you think he could be pulling out of the slump that he had been in leading up to this week? Well, clearly we hope so because he's really been in a funk longer than just the beginning of the season, which most of the hitters have been in. So going back to June 1st of last year, he's hit right around 225, 230. So three hits can propel him. There's no question that sometimes you just need some type of jump start to get you going and be in a position to where you feel confident, you see the ball a little bit better, and you're not worried about the last 0 for 3 or 0 for 4 the night before and the night before that. So, you know, Terry Crowley talked to him just the other day and talked to him about, look, let's go back to basics here. Let's not try to do too much, especially in the leadoff spot, which he may be putting some pressure on himself in the leadoff spot, trying to do a little too much. If you take a lot of pitches in the leadoff spot, next thing you know, you're behind 0102. Well, no hitter likes to hit 0102, and then the way Adam Jones has been struggling, that's not a good spot for him to be in either. So, with the Crowley just talking to him and saying, look, relax a little bit, try to get a good pitch to hit. If it's early in the count, drive it. If it's late in the count, let's understand situational hitting as well. If, the, if you're up there, no matter when you're up there, you know, if the situation dictates, hit behind the runner, get the runner over, just do that. Don't worry about your batting average. Don't worry about getting a hit every single time up. And by him hitting the ball a little bit more to right field, his last hit last night down the line, that's an indication that he's staying on the ball a little bit better. You know what? You're vulnerable a little bit inside, but most guys don't pitch inside very often. So if you can hit the ball away and go the other way with the ball, I think that's going to help him try to break through this thing. And we know confidence can go a long way. One guy that probably had a little boost in confidence was Chris Tillman. He throws the no-hitter in AAA this week. What does that do? You threw a no-hitter. What does that do for a young pitcher? Well, when you throw a no-hitter, it, it, and that was on the heels of another very good game that Chris Tillman had after three poor starts, the confidence is the key. He has the ability to pitch up here. He was here in the big league level last year. He has the physical ability. It's a matter of making pitches. It's a matter of feeling good about yourself, knowing that if I throw this pitch and hit my spot, good things are going to happen most of the time. And I think when he went out and threw that no-hitter, this is something that, again, we talked about Adam Jones feeling confident, boosting him to that next make him you know, feel like, hey, I can do this with no second guessing himself. This is a situation where Chris Tillman now with two starts in a row and the no hitter, that's going to stay with him for a while. And, and he's just going to be able to go out and do the things that he knows he can do to be successful at AAA. And that's good for the club because you can never have too much good pitching down in the minor leagues, right? Absolutely. You know, you, we got some good arms down there and it's just nice to see Arietta and Tillman picking things up. All right. Thanks a lot, Dave. You bet.